So the Osmo Mobile 6 has been out for quite a while now, September of 22 to be precise. That's precisely two years ago and it makes you think, when will they be releasing the M7 or will they be releasing that at all? And what kind of improvements would you like to see? Let's find out. Firstly, in terms of the release date of the M7, it's unclear. I've been in touch with DJI and they refuse to provide any date or news about the M7. I'm not even sure if it's in the works, but I hope it is because this thing has potential. Number one, the clamp. The clamp has a few things that can be improved. One of those is the fact that it is a separate entity from the gimbal. It has to be carried with the gimbal, but doesn't fold with the gimbal, which makes it quite an inconvenience. If DJI designed this in a way that could be folded with the actual gimbal without the need for actually taking it on or off, it'll make the portability of this device much better. The same applies to the tripod stand. It's just inconvenient to carry this as a separate piece with the gimbal. If they integrated this with the actual gimbal handle, it takes the gimbal from a three-piece set to just the one, similar to the InstaFlow 360. This could mean compromising on the sturdiness, but I believe DJI can pull this off and give us the best of both worlds. Now, staying on the topic of the clamp, another reason I hate it is because it messes with the phone if you have a screen protector. You see, because the clamp is quite strong, it presses against the edges of the phone so much that it interferes with the screen protector and in most cases, ruins it. A potential solution to that could be to get rid of the clamp altogether and have a metal plate that attaches to the back of the phone. The magnet can then attach to that, but I'm no designer, so hopefully DJI can give us something worthwhile. One last thing on the clamp is that the size is quite a problem. As expected, most phones have buttons on the side which become a direct target of the clamp. You can't always get it perfectly in the middle as you try to avoid the buttons, which results in even more problems, such as calibration. Again, this could be solved with the simple redesign of the clamp, which I mentioned just before. Number 5. The extension rod. It's just not enough. Having just 8 inches really doesn't do much in a lot of scenarios, and I can see this being extended further, easily more than double. Example, the ANXRE selfie stick extends to 50 inches, and it has a very similar build to the M6. Now, it doesn't have to match that and extend to 50 inches, but getting something like 20 would make a great difference. Similar to the previous point, I think DJI could make an accessory that allows video to be captured via a top-down view. This is quite a popular way of recording things and they can target a market that is already thriving. Example, cooking videos or unboxing videos. All the features listed so far have been focused on the actual device and I believe there are improvements that can be made in the app to make it much more user-friendly. And possibly the most important, in my opinion, is the integration between the DJI MIMO app and the phone's internal camera. There are multiple features in the normal camera mode that you can't use on the DJI MIMO app. For example, your phone may support up to 100 times zoom, but the MIMO app limits that to just 10 times. This makes the app feel very limited. A good solution would be to either integrate the MIMO app with the phone's internal camera, or mimic the features of the phone's camera so that you're not stuck using a limited version when your phone is clearly more advanced. That's everything I could think of. Comment down what other features you think DJI could add to the M7 if it ever comes out. That's all for now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.